So, you thought you were going to click on this video thinking, Oh, hey, check it out. It's a normal review. Ha! Idiot. Imbecile. Ha! Ha ha! Well, I'm going to tell you this. This is a video. Yes, this is a video <laughs> on reviewing uh, the Vive, HTC Vive. So, this thing, I have to say, is exquisitely done, and holy crap a moly, is it so much fun. I cannot express how immersive this is, having full room scale VR is compared to, let's say, the Oculus Rift or Rift S or something of the sort, even though the Rift S is sort of up there with the vibe and stuff. And then you have like the Quest, which the Quest really doesn't count because it's not as awesome as 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 as, as HTC Vive Pro or HTC Vive because you can't do exactly what it does and it's pretty, you understand me? Idiot. <laughs> so sit down with your pizza rolls in your left hand and your Jack Link's beef jerky in your right hand. Not sponsored <laughs> because I'm not cool like other people. So sit down, have a great time, and listen to this great review of how cringy this is going to be. Are you guys prepared? I'm prepared. Let's do this. Let's have some fun. Ah! So, what is the first thing you do? What's the first thing you buy when you get HTC Vive in? What do you do? Huh? 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 The first thing you do is you buy VR, you, oh, you don't necessarily have to buy it, but it's free to play, VR chat, and you get Beat Saber. Of course, you have to get Beat Saber, and luckily I got the Beat Saber only a, a week before the Imagine Dragons DLC came out, so I got the Imagine Dragons, and so that's what you see me playing in some songs in the uh, video that's playing behind you, behind me, whatever, it's there, you can see it, oh well, we're doing this, and we're dealing with it, so you're gonna deal with it, ha. So, not only that, I also got another game called Pavlov VR. I've seen many people play it, but essentially I did not record it for this video, but with it, it's a very like simulation, arcade type game, which is kind of like Call of Duty, but more realistic. And it's not realistic in a sense, you can't really do some same stuff like you're actually trained for in the army, and it triggers me so much. So there's a few things I have noticed, we're going to start off the cons of the HTC Vive, is that it's really hard for someone who has glasses, well I've experienced it anyway, it's very hard to like get it fitted, also I do have a broken nose so it's like I've had it fitted over my helmets and stuff, so I've had to deal with that. So I live in a small little room on an apartment essentially. And we, we, we only have a fridge, it's only like a little area and stuff, but it's, it's, it's enough to play in the standing area that it's required. But it's not enough to play certain video games, which is very obvious. So I can't do full room scale VR until I get a house. So until then, I want to do standing VR. But I will say, uh, the tracking is very well done. Uh, I will. You will notice in the uh, video behind me, if I'm not putting too much stuff on the screen, is you can see whenever I swipe, uh, sometimes it like jiggles. I don't know if that makes sense. Like it swipes and then it goes somewhere else. It goes too far or something like that. That's just something I've noticed. Uh, I did update it after the video. So after the video was recorded, uh, all the gameplay, I did update all my drivers and stuff again. Uh, because an update came out apparently a little bit ago. I just never noticed it because it doesn't notify you. Uh, I will say Streamlabs is the only thing that ever recorded VR. And it's weird because you thought you would think OBS would perfectly be fine with this. It's obviously not. I try to install the plugin. doesn't work. It just says screw you to HTC Vive. But luckily Streamlabs saved my booty. And that's what we're going to deal with. And that's what I will continue to use for recording because it's obviously really well done at doing what it does best and that is recording and streaming. So shout out to Streamlabs, you're, you're, you're awesome. So with the, I live in a 
apartment, essentially, that does not allow drilling into the into the walls. So we can't necessarily, I'll, I'll put up, I'll record a little video and put it up on screen now of exactly what it looks like that I'm having to use my sensors with. And they're probably not high enough, stuff like that. That's probably one of the reasons why whenever I swipe up to my top right, I miss a lot is because they aren't tracking it. That's probably my fault and I can't help that. I apologize. So that is going to affect the review. I'm sorry. So, but that is something I have to deal with, but I'm also going to have to take that in consideration. Well, well you, the viewer, because I'm not even going to rate because I don't ever fucking rate these fucking shits. So, I have one on top of my dresser and the other one on a monopod. Never ever bought a monopod in my life, and I did, and it's helped out so much, and I'm happy that I even have it. So, with that, the HTC Vive, especially dark games, later on you'll see me, I'll... I'll post a game that is very scary and I knew I had to buy a scary game and they find a site to make a scary game I was like okay let's try it and it's very scary and I bitched out of it and you uh, you, you actually see me bitch out in in the video and I will post that in the video and you will see what game I am talking about <laughs> so <laughs> um, but it does have a screen door effect on certain games. I will say that it could also be because I'm wearing glasses a lot and in the army you can't wear certain um you can't wear uh, contacts. At least that's what I've been told. So, can't do that. So, whenever uh I'm playing around stuff, it does yeah. So, another uh, con is, well, some people, is the all the cords. I will say it is somewhat of a con because I had to spend a lot a lot more money just trying to find the right thing. So, the way I found it, because I, I just got the RX 590 Fat Boy. Yeah, you know, the Fat Boy. I got that, and it is very effective what it does. I actually get about uh, 120 frames, usually, on certain games, like uh, the Lab. I actually got 120 frames. Just average and I've never had that before and I just upgraded my PC I got the RX 2700 so I can run this perfectly fine and I've never had a frame drop nothing like that the only thing I've had a problem with is Skyrim VR but that one's that that's that's another monster on a different day that that's ooh, whew. so uh, the wires especially when come down from your back is it can get annoying when you get when you're so immersed into the game it's it it can get very annoying very fast especially when it starts curling up behind you because you're like all over the place ah, just jumping ah, ta -da, ta -da. and that can get annoying i will obviously tell you that uh it does get annoying with that fact but other than that the the vibe is really good now uh strategy games on the vibe are um i'm, I'm, just, I'm gonna jump around a little bit so please Bear with me. I'm sorry if you guys don't like this kind of thing, but if you've seen my reviews before, I kind I jump around a lot. I do jump around. So if you guys don't like that, then go away. <laughs> if if you want or save it for the video, I don't care. I'm not getting paid for this. Uh, I'm just giving out my opinion of this because this is a review. So I'm sorry. I'm very. I usually do all my videos off the handle. Usually my reviews are actually scripted, but this time around, I felt like. This doesn't need a script. I feel like right here should be coming out from then my heart. Ah! So with that, I have act actively played the vibe every single day as best as I can, especially when I'm on lunch break. I come up to my room and I play. And I play Beat Saber and that's my workout for that because it does a lot with your arms and it's very effective. So with that now let's now the pros are it's very immersive uh you, you can do anything you want in the games you, your full room scale vr everything's just amazing with the HTC Vive, and it looks so much clearer to me anyway than a oculus rift and i have played with the oculus rift all the oculus rift except for the quest because i refuse to play on the quest because that's i already know what it's about i already know how it looks and stuff because my friends already showed me because i've been to his house and he's already showing me the, the quest and stuff i'm like no nah, i don't want to try it but I get I get the appeal of it. But so I'm probably gonna move up to the index later on. But so 
The controllers are very amazing. I love how you can grip them to do certain things. That's, that, that is astounding to me that we've come this far. Uh, I've actually forgotten I even had those hands. I've, I've played, let's say, VR chat for so long at one point that I, I legitimately thought I was there. I don't know how to, I don't know how that I don't know how to explain that, but I went to bed that night thinking I was still in the game. That's weird to say, but that just means how long I played, how immersed I was. And I've never had that happen and I never had that feeling before and it's weird and I love it. It's it's something that's so amazing. So either way, moving away from that, I know that sounds crazy, that sounds dumb, but Moving on, so strategy games. I never thought that we'd uh, get this. I mean, there's already a few strategy games that have already come up for the Vive and the Oculus, but I feel like the Vibes, of course, because we're talking about the Vive, so that's what we keep with. I'm just saying the Oculus because that's the thing we have to compare it to, which I've used before. So the Vive is very capable of doing strategy games, and you obviously see me playing this game called Sky World Bra uh, Warriors Brawl. Yeah, Kingdom Brawl. So, Sky World, Kingdom Brawl. So, I play it, and it's very fun. It's only for 10 bucks. At least I got it for 10 bucks. And it's fun. It's very fun. It's hard as fuck. So, if you are willing to put up with the insanity that it is, and you will get overrun very quickly by AI, even on normal. Even on normal, you get overrun, and it's very fun I, I i will actively say that is a very fun game and i feel like more people should play it um but yeah so i feel like you should play it i, sh I feel like this is the future and if you have a powerful enough pc because there are games on here that you will spend hours upon hours upon hours even days on if you could if you possibly could you could you can and i would highly recommend it because you need if you haven't experienced vr you need to experience vr for at least the first time maybe probably just beat saber or vr chat or even um sky world hell even five nights at freddy's help on a vr and guess what that's the game that i'm about to show so you're about to see me bitch out on it and i will say it's a very well done game i highly enjoy it and I get scared the shit out of and all my battle buddies we come in here and we all play together and it's funny especially when like someone blows on your neck or they like, freak with you and it's it's so fun it really is and I think they honestly put out all the stops on this one and I feel like this is a great game and I'm kind of like doing a review of all these different games <laughs> sort of Basically, all these different games with the vibe, because that I'm just I'm trying to give you the point, nail it home that the vibe is the future, and I honestly believe that if you have powerful enough PC and you and you have five hundred dollars to spare, I got mine for four sixty because eBay, but five hundred dollars to spare, I would highly recommend getting it and just that's that's the new way to play video games and it's amazing and play it. So anyway, here's the gameplay, and I want to say, if you guys like this video, please subscribe. If you guys want to see more of this, if you guys actually want to see me stream Beat Saber on Twitch or maybe YouTube, YouTube's a little bit more antsy about copyrighted content, and I really don't want to deal with that. And I could I could play like Finance of Freddy's if you guys want, as I have a 4K um, camera now, and if you guys want to see me play with that, well, let's go 60 FPS 4K. A camera and y'all can watch me play be an idiot y'all everyone can come join and dance around with me it's gonna be fantastic and i would highly recommend everyone just oh, highly recommend but please tell me what you guys think of this video in the comments below um should i make another discord should i you know, what what are the games do you guys recommend because you guys can see plainly what games i have um, in that i have that are for vr if you guys have any more games maybe free games that you guys would highly recommend please let me know um I, I have been saying um because i'm starting to take a little bit more and my throat's becoming a little dry because i'm non-stop talking so please please uh let me know how this video goes and what you guys think of it uh, i haven't edited it in a while so i apologize for that and i got a few projects coming up i got a few of them 
and I think some of you guys will enjoy them. So with that, oh, also, like this video because it does help me. Uh, if you guys have any questions about VR or anything like that, I am fully willing to answer you in the comments. I do read every single comment. I haven't made a video in so long, but I think this will help. And I do, I am now starting to have the time again. Well, sore, I, I say time, but these next few, like these next three weeks, I'm going to have a lot of time on my hands. So with that, I will start doing a lot more videos, a lot more streams. So please... Please tell me what's up with you guys and how's your day. So anyway, guys, here's here's that here's me bitching out, and I didn't record it. I should have recorded it because I haven't played. I forgot how scary the main menu was because it's so immersive. The atmosphere is so immersive, and you'll see what I mean. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Bye bye.